depression, a common but serious mood disorder that affects how you feel, think, and handle daily activities in life. African American, an American of African and especially black African descent, currently 13.3% of the American population. Of that percentage, one fourth are under the age of 18. Invisible, unable to be seen, not clear to the naked eye. The topic of depression when it concerns black youth often goes overlooked and is rarely talked about. Let's have a conversation. One of the larger challenges in treating behavioral health issues of any kind and at any age is the issue of stigma. We live in a society that tends to not value seeking help and actually tends to look at someone who's seeking help as having a, a weakness. We live in a society that doesn't um, make the conversation about a behavioral health illness as acceptable as a medical illness conversation. So that's probably the biggest challenge, being able to have an open and honest conversation about a behavioral health need without being judged, without being made to feel like something's wrong with you. And so then that creates an environment of secrecy, an environment where people don't want to get help. People don't want to let someone know that they're struggling with something because of how it's going to be perceived in the larger community. I think the stigma surrounding the, <laughs> my love the cuss. Yeah. I, th <laughs> I think it's bullshit because so many people go through depression without realizing that they're going through depression. They just think that it's like awesome, you know, I just gotta shake it off or I'm just down for a little bit or I'm angry, I don't know why. I'm anxious, I don't know why. Depression isn't always being sad. Sad, like sadness is not like, sadness is like one little aspect, but some people's depression, the way that they bring it out into the world is by seeming like an angry person or seeming like they're just mad all the time. Or the person who is highly anxious and quiet, they could, like that could just be the way that they're handling their depression. And so I think it's bullshit. I think more people should talk about it because the reasoning why so many people go through it is because they're going through it alone and they don't assume that everybody else could be feeling what they're feeling. Young people, can begin showing symptoms of depression at any particular age. Um, the actual diagnosis of depression isn't something that you typically see in extremely young people, but when you look across the population, um, about 20% or so of people under the age of 18 have some symptoms of depression at some point in their life. Um, and you often, get to see the numbers in a more condensed manner. For instance, one in 33 children will experience symptoms of depression. One in eight adolescents will experience symptoms of depression. So it's very difficult to, specific, to, to pinpoint a specific age. More, more, um, you know, more of the research gives you an, a, an image of what it looks like kind of across the, um, the whole span of, of, of childhood or adolescence. But it's something that can present at different ages it's very individualized as is any kind of health issue uh, the thing about depression is like it cycles and so like you kind of have depression have depression and then there are depressive episodes and so like the last depressive episode i had was last semester and i think the first time i realized that what i went through in the past i was probably like around I feel like around like 17 or 18 when I realized that like I was depressed as a child. That wasn't just me being weird or me being like just wanting to be by myself and um, blah, blah, blah. It was really like depression. And so that would be around fifth grade, like 10, 11. Being sensitive is one of the first things that I think all of us should try uh, to, put, to put forth so that our friends and our family members, our loved ones, feel like there's an open, um, environment where you can have a, a conversation and communicate about what's going on because it's 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 probably one of the the most difficult um, challenges to be able to feel like there's there's someone that you can talk to there's someone who will listen to you there's someone who um, will support you lots of people say oh I'm here for you I'm here for you but does someone who's struggling with a behavioral health issue really feel like 
they have someone that they can talk to about what's going on. That's Unfortunately, that's what we hear and what we see a lot, um, that people feel isolated. People feel like, you know, they may have 500 Facebook friends or whatever, or a thousand people that they Snapchat uh, with or whatever, but is there someone that they can go to and say, this is, something's going on and I don't, you know, I don't know what to do. Can you just listen to me? And, and there's someone that they can physically talk to who'll take them seriously. One person who like didn't know me that well, but like, like knew me, but didn't know me like friend wise, I told them and they were like in shock. Like how could, I never would have imagined that somebody like, like as strong as you quote unquote would like experience something like that. So I can imagine that being a response for some people who like, who just wouldn't assume that I would go through something like that. Definitely like my family and friends, like, any time that like I just need somebody to talk to like I have very select amount of friends but those are the ones that I need in my life because they're basically like family members to me and then like my family my mom my sisters often you see young women adolescents teenagers young adults and I'm you know young young people um, who are female seeking help much more often than you see young men or boys. Um, and so then there's a diagnosis that's given to that person because they've sought help. And that person often is a female. Whereas the male, teenager, young adolescent, isn't necessarily as prone to seeking help. And that goes back to the issue of stigma, right? Because we live in a society where the message is men are supposed to be strong, boys are supposed to be tough, boys aren't supposed to talk about their emotions, boys aren't even supposed to have emotions other than anger, right? That's the only acceptable emotion, unfortunately, in our society. So it's difficult to answer because when you think about who is seeking help more often, well, those are, those are oftentimes females who are seeking help. But then there's the other population of males who aren't necessarily help seeking, but may be presenting with other kinds of behaviors. You know, people like to throw around the term crazy, unfortunately, and quite inappropriately. And with any behavioral health diagnosis, no one should be thought of as being crazy just because they're seeking help or just because they have a behavioral health need or a diagnosis. Research um, tells us that there are a lot of different reasons, a lot of different, oh, uh, many different causes, um, many different factors that can contribute to the development of depression. Some of it has to do with genetics. There um, tend to be some genetic predispositions to certain behavioral health illnesses. Um, that's not all of it. Some of it has to do with experiencing incredibly difficult life events. Um, deaths of, 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 of parents at a very early age for some children. Um, multiple traumas, physical trauma, sexual abuse, those kinds of traumatic occurrences in people's lives. Um, it's experiencing um, significant amounts of neglect not being able to have significant others, caretakers who are allowing you to feel like, you've, like you have a safe environment. So there are a lot of different factors in an individual's environment that can contribute to symptoms of depression. When you are depressed, like it is uh, something that really is all in your head. And so it can take you out of situations that people assume that you're like lively in. And so you kind of miss out on, at least for myself, I can't speak on other people, but you miss out on memories because they're a lot they're skewered in your head than how it was for everybody else like that type of depression where you can't move that would be the biggest obstacle because it's like you no longer have control you don't have the emotional energy to get up so i would say that health coverage health care coverage we know that a lot of insurance companies will cover your medical needs broken leg broken ankle pneumonia flu cancer but what's called parity is not commonly accessible. Healthcare parity, meaning a healthcare company will cover your behavioral health needs at the same rate as they'll cover your medical care needs. That's not the case across the board. I think it's important to continue to have this conversation in as many different media venues as possible so that everyone becomes more and more comfortable talking about behavioral health needs. 
uh, in our African American community. It cannot be looked at as a weakness. It cannot be looked at as something that should be your secret to never talk about or that it's the fault of the person or that it's the fault of the parent. It's not about placing blame. Blame. It shouldn't be about placing blame. It should be about having an open conversation and being able to get the help that's needed. I think it's also important to um, be mindful of the fact that depression is not a life sentence. That There are a number of people um, who, with the appropriate kinds of services and supports, can maintain a very functional lifestyle. One of the other things that's important to consider about depression is that a lot of people, going back to the issue of stigma, don't seek help and don't seek treatment. And when depression is untreated, it becomes the third leading cause of suicide in young people. And that's tragic. I would say please talk to somebody that you trust like even if you don't know how they're going to react keeping the pre the one thing that will feed depression is keeping depression by itself and putting it into a bottle and letting it <laughs> just letting it be there because it will do nothing but spiral inside your head so please like you have to get that out and even if it's getting it out to a complete stranger that you met in the park or going to finding a counselor that looks like you so like especially like for black people i go find a black therapist if you're a black woman find a black woman therapist there are a lot of free sources in a lot of different places so i encourage you to talk to somebody because you never know they could be the one that one conversation be the one conversation that you needed to validate with everything that you're feeling because that's another thing that we always invalidate ourselves we don't think that we're supposed to be feeling what we're feeling we live in a very crazy time we live in a very crazy frequency on earth that like Everything that I promise you you're feeling is valid as long as you just go talk to somebody and let them affirm you in life. So that's what I would say. There's help to be found. There are plenty of counselors, plenty of psychologists, plenty of clinical social workers, psychiatrists who are very well trained. I think it's important for our youth today to know that they're not alone and that there are people who are able to help them and that having a behavioral health need does not mean that they're they're weak or that they're you know in some ways unable to live a good life it just means that their brains function a little bit differently and that they can with the appropriate kinds of services and supports be able to live the lives that they want to live. You know, God is there. <laughs> and sometimes I feel like God also like puts people through certain things so they garner a certain amount of strength to deal with life. And so sometimes I feel like uh, if I keep that in my head that like God is doing this on purpose, like it gets me through it too.